casting tray here. I glued three pine common boards. These are at Home Depot. They come in, uh, I think it's four feet is the size I bought and it's a one by six. And I glued three of them together. And then I, this is a, a old tile that we had for a fountain. So this is gonna be another serving tray. Uh, I'm gonna be putting that birch, really nice grain pattern on that birch. Uh, that's going to be around the edges, and I'm going to do a little bit different design. So I think on this one, I'm going to do a miter. So I got this cut down to size, and I laid out my tile. I'm using a spacer in here, the space that I need on the edge. And then I am going to leave a little bit of a, of a overhang here so I can put a groove into the side piece and slip that groove onto the edge. So... The dimensions I'm working with for this serving tray, 12, almost 13 inches, 12 and 7 eighths. Uh, it's about 18 and 5 eighths. So roughly 13 by 18 and pretty nice tile. I think it's gonna look pretty good with that birch. I did to get the uh handle holes on these tray ends. I attached a, a two by four on the bottom side that'll prevent some of the tear out when the bit goes through. Also, you saw me moving the bit back and forth kind of slowly. And then I uh, that's to prevent the bit from overheating. So you spend about the same amount of time drilling as uh, cooling. And I attached these with double-sided tape, real good bond, but I'll put a link to this double-sided tape I use in, in the description. This is pretty good stuff. You can see I didn't get any tearing when I took it apart. Then I put a piece of uh, painter's tape on the back side again to try to prevent tear out to keep the uh, tension on the grain. I made my measurements center line an inch and a half uh, to each side and then I put a reference line that I could try to follow across the top. It's pretty hard to keep everything square with the drill press and all that but at least it'll be uh, it'll be uh, visually close um, and then you know try to overlap the Forstner bit. Those are frued bits that I use and they're very good bits, very uh, sharp, good cutting, and then, you know, can take down these little ridges a little bit, but sanding will get that out as well. But I, I put them back to back with some double-sided tape, same double-sided tape, and it makes it just a little bit easier so I don't have to come back and do a whole nother. Got all these angles cut using a piece of MDF here underneath. Got the, the um, blue tape put on. To hold these corners in place as I sort of roll it up. So I'm going to put a glue bead, put some glue on this side, glue in the miters, maybe try to get a little bit of glue along this edge here. I'll the clamps off, took the tape off, and some of my miters were a little bit open. So I have another video on this, but what I did was I took some of my same wood glue, I'm using Tight Bond 3. Uh, I pushed it into the miter with a little skinny feeler gauge, the open part, and then uh, flattened it out a little bit, and then came over it with a little sandpaper, and that created some sanding dust that mixed with the wood glue and uh, you can't see any of my, really it's hard to see any opening on the miters now. So 
we'll let that dry. If you want to know a little bit more in depth about that, I, I do have another video on the channel. Um, there's another trick here for miters. You can use a screwdriver edge or a burnishing tool and just uh, curve these fibers in together by running the edge of the screwdriver over the miter edge. Uh, but I'll use that if I need to after this glue dries. So I'm using a thin set or tile mortar that works over wood. Make sure to read the instructions, mix it properly, use a trowel that has the right size, and also you want to make sure your base is sealed so the water from the mortar doesn't stain the base. So I got it troweled with that uh, tool to the size of the specification on the bag of mortar and uh, just make sure you have a pretty good covering, not too thick, not too thin. So the mortar has dried. I have uh, used a little screwdriver to scrape down some of the joints where the mortar came up. So it looks pretty good, everything is solid, pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm just working the tile spacers using 1 16th and getting them set and then uh, just making sure see like here's a three-way one you can dig these out but if they are below the level of the tile then the grout is going to cover them so i'm working with a grout that i haven't worked before the uh person that wants this wants this uh sparkle grout so um this is like a epoxy grout, and it can be real tricky. Um, one of the one of the tricks that I know to use is to wet the tile, and and some you can even put some of this um, like diluted dishwashing soap. They also give you this is a mape grout. They give you a sponge and a scrub to scrub out the um, epoxy grout because it can be extremely tricky. This is a premix. It's already got liquid. So I'm gonna lay that down. I'm gonna push it with a this is a little grout pusher. Alright, well, this is done here. Came out really nice. This birch has got some really nice figure to it. You can see here, it's almost got these like shiny mirror like. You can see this grout. It's got sparkles. Woo! <laughs> uh, it's pretty, pretty easy to work with. I did have to patch a couple little spots where uh, my level didn't come out perfectly, but. Uh, I used uh, General Finishes Armor Seal, really good stuff. Uh, Semi gloss, three coats, and tile is in there, perfectly done. These are again, these are like um, some Japanese ceramic tiles. So put one coat of the Armor Seal on the bottom where this pine is. And you can see how my uh, miters came out pretty good. A little bit of um, wood glue and sanding got that put together. That semi-gloss is just right. It's not too shiny and uh, it's not dull, dull. Really nice project. Uh, took me a little bit longer than I anticipated, but getting the miters right, getting everything right working with this um, my pay flex color translucent grout <clears throat> I use mortar my other video you'll notice I used um, epoxy and I also put grout there that was a different grout that was a different grout that was uh, royal grout or something I had left over from another tile job so yeah really nice uh, tray came out just uh perfect thank you everybody for watching please do subscribe to the channel we do appreciate it